Yo, what's poppin', my people? It is your big homie, CTG, a.k.a. Crooks the Great, and I'm back at you guys with another special Texas Chainsaw Massacre video. Now, for those of you guys that are newer to the channel, I have only released one video on this game, but let me tell you, this is one of the funnest games out there right now. So if you guys haven't picked it up, make sure to go pick it up. It's on the Xbox I believe it's on Xbox Game Pass for free. So if you have Game Pass, it's free. Uh, if you want to buy it, I believe it's $40 on the PlayStation as well as on the Xbox. And it's on PC. But do know, as of the last patch, um, they did take out uh, PC crossplay. So if you're on PC, you're not going to be able to crossplay with guys on the PlayStation or the Xbox anymore. So just know that ahead of time. But here we're playing with Sony here in the first or in the game, I'm sorry, not the first game, because this game takes quite a long time. But here, we're trying to be as quiet as possible, but you see, we're right here. We already get spotted, so we ran away just for a second, but Leatherface is right on our ass right there, right on our ass. So we gotta run. We're running quick. Jump through the barricade one time for the one time. Run through the bone scraps. And it's already tough, but somebody already unlocked the door. To the outside so we're looking sitting pretty but somebody's already chasing me so we run to the outside right there slam the door shut and we're gonna try to hide and hopefully we don't get caught right here so we're just trying to stay quiet and i know i believe i forgot who else is up here but we're using sony's special his special right there to see if anybody's coming but it doesn't look like anybody is but i do hear somebody so i'm gonna go ahead and just chill right here for a second because I don't know where, I believe it's, I want to say it's Hitchhiker and Cook. No, Sissy's in here. I'm sorry. It's Sissy and Cook. They're both in this game as well. So I want to figure out where those guys are at before I just start roaming around this map. As you see Leatherface right there, he knows we ran outside. He's trying to collect blood for Grandpa over there. Which is, if you're playing the family members... I don't see a lot of people using it as much as they should. You don't really see a lot of family members feeding grandpa like that. But it's it's a very, very useful thing to do. Especially if you're playing against really good victims. So here we're just trying to stay patient. He doesn't see us because we're crouched in the bush. But look, here comes Connie. Big mistake. And then she's going to run straight into me, but she gets killed. And look, there's Sissy right behind. She's about to get double tapped. She's about to get double tapped. And I'm watching one of my best friends get murdered right in front of me. So I have to move. Because he's in the animation. He can't see me anyways because he's killing her. So I know that she got executed. But it is what it is. I couldn't save you. Couldn't save you. Even if I wanted to. So there I see somebody's moving. And I know Sissy's right there because I can see her out of the corner of my eye right there. So we're going to move across. And look, she sees us. And that was a big mistake. And we're not close to any wells right here. Oh, yes, we are, though. Actually, we are. We're close to a well. We're going to go ahead and jump down this thing. She hits us once. But, hey, we're going to be able to survive. But we're back to square one, man. We got out of the basement quick. So we're going to go ahead and, and collect the bone shard right here. Which I would highly recommend you have a bone shard on you at all times if you're not Leland. If you're Leland, you have the shoulder bumps, so you're okay. But if you're anybody else, I would highly recommend you have a bone shard. Because it really comes in clutch if you get trapped by a family member. Because other than, I would say, well, Leland's not even fast. But none of these guys are extremely fast. So, you know, you're not going to be able to outrun a lot of these guys. So, having a bone shard really comes in clutch because it stuns them. It holds them in place for, I think, about a good one to two seconds. And that'll allow you some time to be able to get away. So here we got some health. We're able to reheal ourselves back up. Now we got to find a toolbox. We either got to find a toolbox or make our way back to where we uh, where we were able to exit the basement. For our, yeah, exit the basement from the first time. So here we're still... Just taking our time still. I'm going to go ahead and hit these crawl spaces. And there it is. The toolbox we were looking for. 
And we got to be a little bit quiet because at this point, I guarantee you some of the family members are down here or have already been down here to the basement. So we don't want to make too much noise as we're sifting through looking for the pick. So there we got the pick that we were looking for. I'm going to go ahead and hit the crawl space. And I see somebody moving right there and I don't know. I don't really want to go over there and see who it is. But I know it's a family member because our screen is starting to change right there. You see the borders start to go yellow and red. So that lets you know that they're, there's a family member close by. There's Sissy. But she doesn't see us because we're not making noise. Oh, yes, she does now. She she just randomly ran into us. And that's the worst kind of player, man. <laughs> Those are the most dangerous kind of players to play as family members. Ones that just randomly run into you. It's It really is tough. So here we're able to run ourselves to the door right here. And it's already been halfway picked. So count our blessings right there. So we just got to pick two of these, which we're doing so successfully, but we're making sure not to break our pick tool. We're going to be able to leave the basement again right here. But this time we're going to shut the door so that way it's not easily, we're not easily followed. But see, there is somebody right there, but I believe it's one of our teammates. It might be Leland. It is Leland. So we're just waiting for Grandpa. We're going to go ahead and move. And look, there's Sissy again. And she sees us. So we're, we're shit out of luck. And we're in the same, almost in one of the same spots we were in last time. So she blows poison. So that way when we run by that door, if we run by that door too soon, we're going to get affected by that. You see, we're just halfway jogging. And now we're just going to have to kind of loop her. I'm not going to lie. We're going to just try to loop her right here. And either she'll get tired of it or... We're going to be able to make time to jump down that exit right there to go back down to the basement. And now she knows we're back here. So like I said, we're just looping her by jumping through these damn, over this damn barricade. But we're going to try something a little bit tricky. We're going to try something a little, little bit tricky. I'm going to go ahead and grab this unlock tool because she already knows that we're back here. She's communicating to her teammates. We can't hide right there. But we're going to go ahead and run back over because she's real close. As you see, Leland got executed. And then, oh, there she is again. She's quick with it. She's quick with it. She knows what we're doing. And Grandpa sees us, but we're already, we've are we already been spotted. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and try to hit the shimmy move. And then we're going to run across. And this time, we're actually going to try to duck in these bushes to try to hide from her. So here, we're going to duck. Hopefully, she thinks that we're gone. And doesn't run into us like she did randomly earlier. And she might have fallen for it because she's running back across the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and move closer to the corner. Because people don't randomly run into the corner. So I mean if she randomly runs into this corner ladies and gentlemen. Then I mean I guess we're just shit out of luck. Because we've already had the worst luck in this game so far. And look she runs right into us. And she goes through the, she goes through the crack right there. She ran directly into us. Oh my goodness. The stealthness on us right here is on a hundred, ladies and gentlemen. But now we got two of them out here because Cook's out here too. So I know these guys are communicating with each other. I know they are. They're looking for me. So we just got to stay patient and not move. She might have thought that we jumped down into the basement. So we just got to wait for them to vacate the area because at some point they're going to get tired of looking in the same area. They're going to think I, I will have disappeared, but there's no way that I could have disappeared right here, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't have enough time to do anything, but there they go. They left. So we're going to go ahead and enter the crack right here. Go straight through right there, but we still got to be careful because that sissy player. She's just randomly been running around places. Look, she's standing right there. This is where the the sensing of the the victim that we're use, using really comes in clutch because we can see where people are at. So here, it doesn't look like she's around here anymore. 
So we're going to go ahead and move back into the house. we got to stay in the darkness right here, though. Look, she's somebody's coming, and it sounds like it's Sissy again. Look, it's going to come straight through the door, but she doesn't see us. She doesn't see us, so we just got to stay still. Just playing it, playing the patient game. Playing the patient game. We're going to go ahead and go through the door right here. But I turn and I see Grandpa's right here. So we can't get too close to Grandpa because then we'll definitely get seen. So we're going to go ahead and move into the family room right here. Hide behind. And we're going to try to escape the front door right here. I see somebody shut the door right there. I don't know if it's Sissy or who it is. But I also seen somebody down in the basement too. So we know one of the killers is still roaming around in the basement. So when we get this opportunity, we're going to turn off this lamp right here. So that way if we need to, we could dip back into the darkness. We already have a bone shard. So we're going to try to pick this lock to the front door. Now for those of you guys that don't play TCM like that, this is the easiest escape out of the family house. Is picking the front door and then going and kicking the front generator to be able to exit. As you see, one of our teammates actually finally got out of the basement. I don't know what the hell he's been doing. I don't know what he's been doing, but he finally got out of the basement. So we're going to open the front door. Or we're going to open the side door, but to the front. We're going to go ahead and move towards the generator, which is going to be at the front right here. But we stop. We crouch. I'm going to go ahead and look to see if we see anybody, which we did right there, but... You know, we're in the bushes, so even if somebody runs outside, they're not really going to see us. So here, we're just going to play it patient again. Staying in the bushes right here. Doesn't look like anybody's quick to be running out. We used our special ability just to see if there was any movement, which there wasn't. We're going to go ahead and kick this generator. But you guys see, even though Grandpa's going to be yelling, if you're in an animation of doing something like getting a pick or kicking a generator like we're doing he's not able to see you so we're gonna run to the other side and we're gonna crouch again just one more time before we make an exit and there oh look at who it is it's sissy again the pain in my ass is right back where she don't need to be this man bro she just is everywhere everywhere she made me jump down the well the first time, then chases me out. And look, she's trying to duck, acting like we don't see her. Do you know that I can see you? She's going to run. Oh, here we go. She's going to try to body block the exit. But she don't know. She don't know what she don't know. And she don't know that we got a bone shard, baby. So if we need to, we're going to go ahead and shank her ass and then jump up out of here. You feel me? That's the plan. And we got to do it with a quickness because that generator will turn back on. It will. And she knows that. That's why she's just standing by the exit. So, hey, you want to go mano we mano? I come from USC4, baby. I ain't never I ain't never ran from smoke. But she over here chopping my ass up like some pork chops. But we able to stab the air. And it gave us the animation to knock her down right there. So we got to run, make a run for the exit. We're trying to escape right here with Sunny. We don't care about Grandpa yelling because we're almost out the building. And it looks like we're going to be able to make the clean escape out of the family house right there. And look who's going to run up right here. Look, she's still chasing me. Even though I escaped already, she's still chasing me. But we were able to get the dub right there and avoid an annoying-ass sissy player. But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. And until the next time, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.